Hi guys, this is Charles from Photospring. In this video, I'm going to go through the Photospring navigation and the basic screen flow. So you'll see here that we have a photo displayed on the full screen. Uh, this is the slideshow mode. So the slideshow mode in Photospring is the, the default mode. It's, it's what it's always going to go to. When you turn on Photospring, it's going to go to the slideshow mode. Uh, if you leave your Photospring for a certain period of time, um, it's going to go back to the slideshow mode and this is to make sure that your photos are always being displayed. Now you'll see that the photos are automatically um, changing here in the slideshow mode and that's based on the time interval setting. So if um, I choose to have longer intervals or shorter intervals, um, I can make the selection for how my slideshow goes through the photos. Um, also, if I see a photo I like, I can come up to the uh, photo spring and I can swipe on the screen um, and I can really easily see the different photos around that. So if I see a photo I like and it reminds me of something, um, I can come up to it, I can slide, and I can see the photos around that event. Um, if I see a photo that I want to keep and maybe just spend the day with that photo, I can double tap on the screen and it'll turn the slideshow off. Um, and if I want to resume the slideshow, I can double tap again and it'll turn the slideshow back on. Um, when I'm looking at the photos, I can also single tap on the screen and it'll go into the photo info mode where on this photo info screen you'll see that it made the photo a little bit smaller and put a border around it that has a series of menu options. Um, so you'll see here I can favorite the photo or I can unfavorite the photo. Um, I can hide a photo. So if for instance this photo I don't want to see it right now um, but it's not a photo that I want to delete either. I can hide it and what hiding will do is it'll put it into a playlist um, that is the hide playlist um, and then you can decide what to do with it at that time. You can either unhide it and put it back into the slideshow or you can delete it from there. Um, down here it'll show the file name and the location of the photo if you have geotagging turned on for your photos. It'll show you the photo date. Uh, here is the system time for the photo spring, battery indicator, Wi-Fi indicator, and this is the delete option. So if I want to delete this photo from this device, I can tap on that and confirm it and the photo will be deleted. Um, I can also turn off and on the slideshow from here, um, up here on the slideshow switch. Um, and then here is my um, settings menu. Um, and I'm going to go through this a little bit later, but I just wanted to let you know that it, it is available here from the photo info screen. So what I'm going to go to next is I'm going to come up here in the upper left corner, I'm going to tap on playlist. And the playlist will show uh, thumbnails of all of the photos that I have available in the current slideshow playlist. Um, you'll see here it says now playing all photos and videos. Um, so that's the playlist that I have selected. Starting from the top left here, um, these are my filters that are available and these filters will apply to these 26 items. Um, I can filter photos or videos so I can display either only the photos, only the videos or display photos and videos together. And then out of that group I can filter by favorites, people and auto. Favorites are photos that I've favorited. Um, if I click on that it'll only show the, the favorite photos that I've selected. People will show um, the photos that are assessed to have people based on facial recognition. And auto uh, will show um, photos that the photo spring has deemed to be um, high quality, interesting photos. So photo spring has a set of algorithms that are always improving to determine if a photo is uh, deemed to be a high, you know, a high value photo. So it might be photos with people in it. It might be photos with a lot of color. Um, it could be photos that are in focus where out of focus photos um, are not included. Um, so that's what the auto does. Um, I also have the select option here. Um, and what select does is it lets me go into this mode where I can select multiple photos. So say for instance, um, I'm through the, with the tutorial and I understand how Photospring works. I can select all the tutorial photos like this and then I can uh, either hide these or delete them uh, based on my selection or I can favorite all of them too. Um, I can also select all or clear all. Um, so that's what the select screen does. Now coming back here to the playlist, um, you'll see up here that I have a date. Now I don't have a lot of photos here but as I scroll through once I have you know months and years of photos this date will update to tell me which date region I'm in. Um, so you'll you want to keep an eye on that when you're 
have a lot of photos on your photo screen. Uh, so the last thing um, that I'll go through here before I go into the settings is up here on sort. Uh, sort will um, allow you to sort your photos by uh, date. Um, so you can do it by ascending uh, date and time order or descending based on um, clicking on the sort option. Um, now the last thing I want to go through um, in this tutorial is the settings. So if I click on that menu option, I get a list of menus and I'll just go through these one by one quickly. Um, here in settings, um, it'll give you a screen with the basic settings of your photo screen. Um, you can go through these and set, set up photo screen exactly how uh, you prefer it. Um, if I go into frame code, I can see the frame code so that uh, if I'm inviting people or if I'm using the, um, the smartphone apps, um, I can use this frame code to connect my photo spring to those different apps. Um, I have connections. Um, right now I don't have any connections um, on this unit yet, but if I wanted to, um, I can click on this and it'll let me send an email um, to make a connection to my photo spring, uh, basically inviting someone to join my photo spring. Um, but if I did have connections, you would see you know, one or multiple connections um, on this screen. Let's see. Um, the Wi-Fi setting here, um, on this screen you can adjust your Wi-Fi settings as you need to. Um, let's see, get help. What this does is if you have any questions about PhotoSpring, um, it'll pull up the help, help screen. Um, you can fill in the information, ask your question. Um, the, message, uh, the messages will come to us directly and then we can respond to you um, as quickly as we can. Um, and then on the last one, power. So to turn off your photo spring, you can um, press on power here, um, and then you'll get the power options to turn off. Or you can press on the power button here. If you do a long press, um, press it for like two or three seconds, you'll get this same menu. Um, but I'll show you here, if you do a short press, it's going to just turn off the screen. Um, and this is the standby mode for uh, photo spring. So um, the screen's going to be off, um, but it'll still be on so that if you want to turn it back on again, um, it, the screen comes back on quickly. Now, one thing about the, the power off is that if you long press on the photo spring and this menu comes up and you select on power off, if the photo spring is connected to power um, like it is here, um, it's going to automatically turn on. And that's how the photo spring is designed so that, that when you do have it connected to power, um, it's always going to be um, on and active and displaying your photos. Um, so in a nutshell, that's the basic navigation uh, for PhotoSpring. I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions, you can always email us at support at photospring.com or um, you can go to our website and there's plenty of information there.